Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will create the magic of coziness and comfort in our home. And I will show you very simple projects from affordable budget, perhaps unusual materials, but the result will be magical. And at the end, I will show you how I create my composition according to all rules of decoration. I will use the Scandinavian style yoga I talked about in the detail in the first part. I will leave the link below. I just fell in love with this style. Even if you don't want to use it in everything in your home, I just strongly advise you to use it in the winter. It gives so much comfort and coziness and enjoyment of life. And it's briefly, the Hugo is it's not fashionable and luxurious, but warm and comfortable. I think it's perfect for winter decoration, don't you think? Let's get started. So, the first project is... Sonia is persistent. The first project, we will turn a cheap item into a unique and stylish thing. And what we need, wood chips, absolutely budget material. I bought this mirror in the Dollar Tree store. I really like these grooves. I immediately imagined how they could be used. In these tracks, I insert wooden chips. I take a hot glue gun, make such a track, and insert these wooden parts. The original idea was that I might not completely cover the entire surface with pieces of wood. I will make these spiral shapes partly. I use the cherry wood chips. It have a beautiful pink shape. I leave the link below. Yes, perhaps here you slightly notice this shade, but in comparison with others, I think shade will be noticeable. This smell of wood, and as I always say, the meditative process, it captured me completely. I could not tear myself away. Sonia has been involved throughout the project. You can see that she sleeps very sweetly. Periodically, she wakes up and checks my work. And here you see another stage where you could stop. Well, of course not. I went further. In fact, it is very exciting. Here's the result. I hope you can see that I chose different shapes and colors so that it was noticeable that it was handmade. Now I'm getting ready to paint. I decided to take a white color and go and go over all the pieces of wood on top. Add a little frost. As usual, with a semi-dry brush, I go over the top. I decided to close everything completely with pieces of wood. If you can see, I wanted to make scuffs like a farmhouse style, but then I decided to cover everything completely with wood here. I took wooden chips of the same size and color. I decided to make the side parts wooden too. Although it was also very good, I got carried away. Here you can see all different sizes of frosty wooden chips. Later I will show you why I did it. Next project it is the simplest and most affordable. These are ordinary wooden branches that I found in the park. Again, I take, a, I take white acrylic paint with such a brush with bristles. I roughly cover the surface, leaving such gaps, holes, between paint, and this is the effect I wanted to achieve. I go over all the surface with a dry brush. Mm -hmm. 
Sonia came to check how I'm doing with creativity. Whether everything turns out without her help? Beautiful. I am satisfied with the result. It didn't great looks like this, but we go further. The next project, this is a winter candle. It will wear a knitted fur coat. Remember, this is a yoga style. Here again I take my favorite air dry clay and start twisting such long needles or cylinders. Then I take two such needles and I twist them together. Take the next two and twist them too. Here I show an error because I twisted both noodles in one direction. As you can see now, I need to twist in the other direction. Then I apply to the jar and glue, cut off the excess and apply the second part. It is twisted in the other direction. So it is turned out such a knitted braid and then Continuing the process, I apply the next twisted in the other direction and sew the entire surface. You can take an ordinary jar to beautifully decorate. Sonia again came to participate. And here is the result from above. I close the edge with a needed braid. And this is a candlestick I got. I made the ball with the same technique. I had such a sock. I decided to use it in my project. I cut off a part. And this is how I will use it. Take a vase and dress it in such a warm coat. Don't throw out knitted stuff. You know how you can use it. And these branches that turned out look very stylish already. I added light to the branches and start building their composition. including all the items that we made a mirror and candlestick. See how not to place object. And the next slide is how to put it right. Here I use the rule of three objects of different shapes. Here I use a similar texture, knitted or wooden surfaces, whitened with frost. There before, all the items here made friends. If you are interested in knowing about the rules of decorating, write to me in the comments below and I will supplement my videos. Another example. I take a vase. It is of a cold green shade. I supplement it with the side dry branches and mirror and candle and all this looks great in a place too. Write which option you like more. Subscribe to my channel and click the like button below. It helps to grow my channel. Let's create together. I always in touch with you. Our winter composition turned out great in the style of Yuki. As I promised, it gives so much comfort and warmth. I hope you feel this through the screen. And I really hope that you will repeat some ideas.